Happy New Year, everyone. If you're watching this at the time of this video's release, I'm currently in Scotland, celebrating the holidays with my wife and my new daughter and my extended family, of course, good old Scots. So I wanted to start with talking about where I think color and design is heading. And then at the end of the video, I wanna just briefly touch on where I think the channel is heading because it's been a pretty good couple years. And I think everyone at the Paint People team, myself especially, is very excited to see how things keep going forward. Now, in terms of paint colors in 2024, for and design as a whole, you've really noticed these last couple of years, this bit of a yo-yoing, a flip-flop of warm and cool, neutral and bold. There has been a lot of change, I think that has been happening also because of the last couple of years, what's been going on in the world. I'm not sure if you heard a lot of crazy stuff. So I find a lot of the color choices that people are going with are either tied to simplicity because maybe they don't want to overcomplicate their lives. Maybe there's enough to worry about or the opposite it where I find a lot more people are exploring color and really going in different directions that maybe they wouldn't have even dared to try five, 10 years ago, because why not? You know, life's too short. I think the first thing that I really see continuing is the whole concept of nature's embrace, you know, talking about using organic materials, earthy colors like greens and browns and those terracotta clay colors. I still see all that being quite popular. And a large part of that is the sustainability aspect of it all. By going with materials that are found in nature that are perhaps repurposed, it's a form of recycling, treating our earth kindly. And I don't think that is going to fall out of favor and not be trendy anymore. I think we can all agree that sustainability is something that is worth preserving and continuing rather than all of a sudden, it's actually really cool to waste stuff five years from now. That doesn't make sense to me. Obviously the biggest addition to this whole earthy organic sort of color scheme we're going with these days is blue. Lots of the big paint companies have announced their color of the year being some sort of blue, whether it's more of a sky pale blue or a deeper one. So you can kind of see them as representing the sky and the sea. The next color trend that I really see being even more prominent are moody, elegant colors. Deep colors that are richly saturated, jewel tones. And it's not to say that we haven't talked about dark colors on this channel and you know the forest greens that I always rave about, charcoal grays, navy blues. Those are big parts of design and have been for quite a while. But I also think there's a difference between colors that are talked about versus colors that are actually being used and purchased. I know, cause I talked to the people at the paint store and yeah, they're not selling a ton of urbane bronze. They're selling a lot of alabaster. But I think now people are more willing to take risks, to go a little bolder, to have a little more fun with their paint color choices in the forms of these darker, richer colors. Because people sometimes are a bit spooked about a color feeling too dark or too dramatic. Now I think people are looking for that specifically. They want something that can be noticed and felt. And it's good to have a design point of view, honestly. So I'm really looking forward to it. The third design trend that I foresee being a thing is minimalism 2.0. On the flip side, there's all the people that just wanna have fun and experiment. There's gonna be the opposite end of the spectrum where people are just gonna wanna strip down their approach to anything related to the home and just go simple, soft grays, whites. I think that's always going to be a factor because that is another thing that is sort of tied to a lifestyle choice. A lot of people love the idea of minimalism and kind of trimming the fat in their life, cutting out things that they don't really necessarily need. And by going with a simpler, more pastel color palette, that's another way of doing it. You're kind of just having a blank canvas in your home rather than having your colors be featured on the walls. So white kitchens, not going anywhere, unfortunately. <laughs> and the fourth trend that I really see happening is personalized palettes. I think people are way more empowered now than they were before to create their own color palettes that they enjoy rather than what the designers tell them they should enjoy. And I know this because some of my consultations, people were gravitating towards colors that I didn't necessarily agree with. And yeah, I kind of voiced my opinion, but they were so steadfast in what they wanted and they couldn't have been happier with the end result. I think that is a great thing. Even though I'm the self-proclaimed color guy on YouTube, I am just one guy at the end of the day. I'm just giving you my opinion and you, know, you can take it or leave it. I'm happy either way. But what I really hope to do is empower all of you to be your own color person 
options, you know? Just make your own choices, maybe using the information that I give you to sort of inform different things, but ultimately it should come from within. If I can help in any way possible, I think I've done my job. And I love my job, it's the best job in the world. Speaking of the channel, moving into 2024, we are going to ramp up a little bit on the content. Patreon is still going strong, so if you haven't checked it out, we have exclusive content on there every single Sunday. And if you're a Prime member, you get a personalized mini color palette from me every quarter. We've already done our first one on the channel and we have another one coming up this month and every month after that. So check out the description if you wanna know more about that. And also we have a Facebook group where we're keeping things a little casual. Anything you wanna share about your personal DIY projects that you've done or a really awesome article that you came across within the realm of design, throw it up there and we can all talk about it together. And also uh, might start dabbling with live streams, live chats. So uh, if you're interested in that, if you're into the whole streaming thing, let me know which platform you prefer to use, whether it's Twitch or just keep it on YouTube or Facebook. Let me know because uh, that's coming up in the pipeline quite soon. So happy new year, everyone. Looking forward to 2024 and beyond. Here's another video for you to check out. Talk to you soon.